Do you know what you do today will affect generations to come? Welcome to today's ZDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. We're looking at the reality of causes. So today we want to say watch your ways. Watch your ways. That's the other prescription. And the anchoring scripture is this Psalm 107 verse 2. Do you know what you do today will affect generations to come? You can either transfer blessings or curses by your words, your ways, your wills of today. And the Bible shows us how the sins of fathers can be transferred to many generations as curses. How the sins of fathers. So what will the generation to come remember you of? If they search out their lineage, what would they discover about you? The discovery of this truth made me many years ago to live peaceably with all men and to avoid all of earthly encumbrances. In Exodus 20 verse 5, You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. So the iniquity of the fathers is visited upon the third and fourth generation. It is repaid. So what the parents do will affect their children up to third and fourth generation. Hosea 4 says, say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priest for me. Because you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. So there is a relationship between causes and the sins of the fathers. Sins affect not only those who commit them, but also generations to come. Sin is more than an isolated act. It continues through bloodline unless stopped by repentance and faith in Christ. So you just need to watch your ways. Sit down. See where you have missed it and come to God in repentance in season like this. Thank you.